Hey everybody, Daniel here from Basement Tech. Well, my exuberance from last time was not rewarded with success. When I went to deploy the current measuring solution that I showed you the last time, it didn't perform as I expected. Uh, so I've decided to pivot from a shunt-based uh, current sensor to a Hall Effect sensor. I'm looking at the ACS758, um, and I'll show you that device coming up in a minute here. It's a different kind of technology and boy, have these Hall Effect sensors um, matured since the last time I looked at them. You'll see it's a completely consolidated case where the geometries can be very tightly controlled and the resistors can be all laser trimmed to give really good um, performance. I'm not sure what the issue was with my shunt-based um, solution. Uh, maybe the millivolt levels coming off of that Whopper shunt were too small. I was looking at millivolts, most people are looking at tens of millivolts, therefore I had to have a higher gain and maybe that was pushing the op amp into a zone that it's not comfortable with. I was using 68 and it seems like most people are using something more on the order of 10. Those stepper waveforms are just a bit crazy um, and maybe the frequency was off or maybe I'm just making some mistake, but anyway the INI INA169 is not for me and I'm pivoting to this new one so let's take a look at that I'm pretty excited about this new solution so here is that new device like I mentioned in the intro it has two whopper pins on the left the current passes in one and back out the other and then three smaller pins um, for power ground and signal out on that side I have it in this little test setup just to make sure everything works before I put too much effort into it. You can kind of see it peeking out over there. And all I have here is an ESP8266 like I have in the main project. And then the same A to D board there that are um, connected together via I squared C. And down here a very simple sketch running that just displays um, all four analog channels but converts the first one to amps. If I zoom back out here you can see I have my trusty dusty um, call it a load over here. Those are two 11 ohm um, resistors in parallel. I'm running 12 volts into it via that big power supply up there and this meter up here is measuring that current. What I'm getting out of that new device is about 820 um, millivolts um, and when that's converted to amps sorry probably making you a little dizzy you see that down here bouncing around too which is exactly what I would expect so I think this is feasibility confirmed let's move on to building it up into something we can uh, install into the CNC router controller
Well, there you have it. As many philosophers and scientists have said, sometimes it's about the journey, not necessarily the destination, and I'm definitely having fun exploring all these current measuring techniques. The next video hopefully will be me deploying this latest attempt, and hopefully we're gonna see wild success and fun with NeoPixels dancing all over the place. This video was a little more heavy with construction techniques, so if you like that, please let me know. If you have any um, feedback or questions, please include those in the comment section below. That's as much fun as anything for me. If you like these kind of videos in general, definitely subscribe, and if you wanna know about them, before anybody else, please hit the notify me button. Um, and as always, give me the thumbs up if you think this is good content. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.